Vasco da Gama gives us many possibilities to create stunning animations. We can change our head objects, fade them in or out. We can slow them down or accelerate them. Then we can place objects, pictures or text elements at stopover points or on any other place on the map and all those objects can be true animated by fading them in or out and so on. And sometimes we find ourselves in a situation where we like to create some kind of effect and we have to create additional stopover points just to achieve this effect. And in these situations it's very important to have a clear understanding of the mechanisms of Vasco da Gama. Does it execute all those actions or what does occur when? So this is the central point of this two-part tutorial. We will step by step have a very close look at the timings of Vasco da Gama. So to start I have created a very small project, one traveling route with a starting point here on the left, the end point here on the right and one stopover point in the middle. As head object I have selected this white car and at the starting point and at the ending point I have selected a pause time of one second. At the stopover point in the middle I have changed the head object. I have selected a new head object and we will switch from this car to a bus. So let's go to the preview window and play back the animation to see how it looks like and everything works ex as expected. Our car switches to the bus by reaching the stopover point in the middle. So that's the situation we have. Now let's make the first change. The active point is this stopover point here in the middle and I will go here to the root section and now I will set a pause time of two seconds at this stopover point here so that our object takes a pause here for two seconds. And now back to the preview section and I start the animation the car moves and now the bus stops for two seconds until it goes on its way and that's the first important point. Let's play it again and pay attention. We first change the head object and then Vasco da Gama executes the pause time. This is the first very important detail. Vasco da Gama changes the object and after that it executes the pause time. So if you have a project where at some point you would like to change the head object but show the former object during a few seconds, you can't do it with only one stopover point because Vasco da Gama executes the object change first. So, first conclusion, the pause time will be executed after the object change. Now we will make the next change at this stopover point here. I will go to objects and I will use now the a fade in effect. I will select here smooth fade and the same for the fade out effect. Both fade effects will last one second and now we go back to the preview section and see what happens. Our car is on the way. Now it fades out. We don't see nothing. Then the bus is faded in and starts its way. Let's see it again. And now I will stop the animation here and I will move on with the slider slowly. Here the car is faded out and that means the fade out effect takes 
place before the object changes. This is logical. Now, at this point occurs the object change. Since the object is faded out, this is invisible. Then the pause time is executed. We don't see anything. And after the pause time, the object is faded in and since the object has changed already, now the new object is faded in and after that the object starts moving. So fading out and fading in hides the action of the object change. And now we will apply an accelerate and slow down at this stop over point here in the middle. We have here the wheels for the acceleration distance. I will set it to 100% and the brake distance. I will set it to 100% as well. Let's go again to the preview window to see this in detail. Here it slows down. Now it is faded off. At this point the object change occurs. Now comes the pause time, the phase of the fading in and now the acceleration part. And this is the execution order you have to keep always in mind. So when you would like to show the old object at during the pause time you have to introduce another stop over point very close to the actual one and set the pause time there and do the object change at the next point. In the next part of this tutorial we will examine how Vasco da Gama executes the things when we add additional objects.